And we're live. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Doll Inclusives Crafting Corner with Cole and Amy. We are so excited that you guys have joined us today. Thank you Hi, so everyone. much. <laughs> so we will give you guys all a chance to, to join. And if you want to make what we're making, we're just using a mason jar, a doll head, fabric, embellishments. You don't have to have limbs. We have some limbs, but whatever you want to throw on here, get creative. There is no right or wrong when it comes to crafting and creating. So everybody has their own ideas. And so, yeah, we're all here to, to have creative freedom and have fun. Are my hands frozen on yours? Well, they're not moving. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try to go out and come back in? This is our first time, you know, guys. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to be finding our way with all the tech today. Yes. Let me go back and come back in. Hey, Linda. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Amy. Crafty kid. Welcome. Thank you guys Hi. so much for tuning in. Oh, now I can see people. Hello. Hi, Tyler. What's up? Mm -hmm. So um, we we are live also on my Amy's Rock and Pop Shop Facebook. And then are we also live on your TikTok? Yeah, live on my TikTok. Hi, TikTok. What's up? This is exciting. Doing some live crafting. Hey, Linda. Hey, Vintage Kissed. Okay, let's get your studio back in here. And then we'll do the little musical chairs. So how do you guys like our setup? So you can see what we're making on one screen and see us here. I think it's pretty cool. All right. Um, so Cole, do you want to kind of let our viewers know how this all came about and what the con what is our concept? What is Doll Inclusive? Yeah. So Doll Inclusive is going to be a weekly crafting segment we're going to be doing either on miss amy's youtube or mine uh trying to get mine up and running honestly but so each week we're going to have a list of items we're going to give you beforehand and then we're all going to come together and then hopefully you know create something usually you know with dolls so <laughs> right and vintage exactly and vintage so tell us, what is doll inclusive? What does that term mean? I think doll inclusive really just means everyone's welcome, whether you collect old dolls, new dolls, or just other miscellaneous toys or anything, honestly. It's just a welcome space for yes. anyone who wants to create. All right. Create or collect, appreciate. Um, you. If you're into vintage, if you're into... Um, contemporary dolls. I think yes. I've, I've heard about so much frustration in the doll and toy community about groups not really being all inclusive. It's like only this category, only that category. You're no, we only talk about this type of doll and we want to have a space where it doesn't matter what kind of doll you're into. You can be here and you can be yourself and there's no right or wrongs. And we're not here to like judge or um, criticize one another. We're just here to have fun and promote joy. And I mean, let's be real. Don't these little faces make you so happy? We want to have a place <laughs> where you guys can connect with each yeah. other and talk and like geek out over dolls and toys and vintage. Um, because, you know, maybe the people... In your day-to-day -day life, they think this is kind of weird or creepy or whatever, and we think it's awesome. So we want to find that creepy. <laughs> right. We want a place where you guys can just be yourselves and and feel like you belong and like you're special because you are. So yeah. Welcome. So, so Cole and I joined forces and came up with the doll inclusive concept. So it will probably be ever evolving and branching off into all kinds of different fun stuff, but this is our first um, adventure and we're so excited that you guys are here with us. So we're going to be crafting and I will tell you as artists, 
we may get into a zone that's, you know, it's AKA right brain. So if we're not responding to your comments right away, it's because we're, we got caught up in our creative zone, but periodically we're going to go scroll back and, and see what's happening. But we encourage you guys to chat amongst each other. And if you're not a crafter and you're just a collector, that is awesome for you to be here too. And I want you guys to connect and make friends exactly. with other people. Yeah. So be sure to hang out in the chat. Let this be your social hour. Um, and then after we're create, done creating, we're going to do a little auction. You guys will have the opportunity to, to purchase our creations. And then we brought a few more things. We're going to try that out and have a little mini sale at the end. So for those who just like to shop, that's coming up too. <laughs> So let's see. Um, hey, Sheila. Yeah. So basically, Hi. you know, Michael had to shut down um, Vintage Bunch because of his work schedule. And now he's rebooting with the Forehead Vintage. But they want to keep it smaller and not like so many sellers. And I have so many of my own um, programs going on now myself because I have my talk show on Mondays. I'm doing two or three sales a week. And now I have doll inclusive with Cole. So I'm pretty busy myself and, you know, and I understand that they need to maximize how many items they can get out. So it all works out for us. We're all still collaborating in different ways. And when Michael gets his schedule down, I know he's going to jump in on this doll inclusive crafting bandwagon as well, because oh, yeah. he's itching to craft with me again. So, but thank you for asking. All right, guys. Well, we're going to just dive in. This is super casual. We're going to talk about what we're doing, but we're going to probably talk about dolls and what's going on in our lives. I mean, we're just going to talk about everything. So, and then we're going to craft. Yeah. <laughs> so Cole came up with this idea. So tell us basically what we're going to be doing today, Cole. So basically we're going to be making a doll pretty much out of a mason jar. I went, or went ahead and pre-glued some felt down just so applying this cute vintage fabric would be easier. You have to get used to like no know, knowing where you're looking. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I nice. love it though. But yeah, so basically we have some doll parts, we have some hands, a head, and some feet. So we're all just going to mess them together and get a doll that's functional. Yeah. So. And you guys will see how two people can use similar materials and projects, but it can be totally different ways that exactly. we imagine it to be. So um, I prepped my jar as well because I have found that a lot of times hot glue does not permanently stick to slick surfaces such as glass, metal, or plastic. You Vinyl, mm, pretty good with vinyl, but um, so I used, I'll show you guys what I used because E6000 is like the go-to for things like this, but I can't deal with the fumes. I don't like to mm. use it. Yeah. So one of my crafty friends at Craftiness in SoCal, she recommended this liquid fusion. There is no fume. It's, um, it's oh, awesome. much, yeah, it's much safer. Um, and then I clamp things while they're drying. So oh, I did this last night and then trim off the excess. So awesome. if you guys obviously didn't know to prep your jars, what you can do is go ahead and put your, your more permanent glue around this part and then go ahead and hot glue. If you do it like coal and cover the whole thing, you're gonna have a seam and just hot glue this part so that it's together while it's drying and then you can just trim it off and then start gluing. So I'm gonna trim off my excess here. And then I chose this fabric from Spoonflower. Super cute and kitschy. Oh, I love that. I love Spoonflower, although it takes forever to get stuff. We have to plan it. <laughs> oh, all the faces. Gotta love it. I know, right? Oh. Amazing artist created fabric. So. Amazing. All right. So you guys, if you are not already subscribed to Cole's channel, please, please, please subscribe. Please. We need to get him to 1,000 subscribers and get him monetized. So 
and I'm going to have a new video out in like two days. So Yay. stay tuned. He's going to be doing toy history every week, you guys. It's yes. So much fun. Right. And the link should be in the description of the video. I created this setup a week ago, so I can't, I've had so many other um, productions <laughs> since then. If it's not there now, it will be there after I post the replay, but it should be there now. So my concept is going to be to create a little skirt Where does this go? around here. Yes. So mm -hmm. I that's love why I just did this part. Yeah. Um, because I like doing pleats. So. <laughs> Those of you who watched my soap bottle crafting with Michael, I'm going to do that same kind of pleated concept, pleated skirt. And then I thought it would be kind of cool because you guys, we're going to have these as functional storage for crafting. Yes. Storage. So I thought it would be cute if you could lift up the skirt and see what was inside. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> So I'm just going to start by trimming off this excess. Perfect. And nothing has to be perfect, you guys, when you're crafting. No. Try to just focus on the process. Exactly. Because it's so therapeutic. It doesn't really matter what the outcome is going to be. And my friend, Ang Herod, um, who has the local crafting store that I support here in California. She always says, if you don't like it, you're just not finished yet. Exactly. So you can step away for a day or a night and come back to it. And then you might have a whole new idea. Oh yeah. And it may even take a whole different direction. And then you may love it even more than what you intended it to be. Oh, I love that. So let us know what you guys are working on. Hey, Lainey. Hey, Shadia. And Tyler, thank you for introducing hey. yourself. Yes, I love Tyler. He's so sweet. Hi, he Judy. Troll collector. Oh, how fun. I know. Hey, Patricia. Oh, great. Thank you, Judy. So, yeah, I did. I usually am pretty good about covering my bases, but then I may not remember. So yeah, the link to Cole's channel is here in the video description. Yes. Thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as well. Yes. I would so appreciate it. This is a way for you guys to support us as content creators and artists. And it's totally free to just hit that subscribe button. Hey, Evan, you're making over a 1971 doll. That is awesome. Oh, I love that. So um, we're going to put together an Instagram page for doll inclusive. So you guys can DM your creations and we would love to see them. And then in the following week's show, yes. we can put some of them up on the screen to share with everyone. All about show and tell. Show and tell. Yes. And I might even show some of them on my Monday talk show as well. Cool. All right. So I'm being tricky here and just folding my fabric over and then I'm going to cut it so that it's oh, okay. I don't know how long I'm going to need it to be, but right now it's just all the jaggedy edges are. Broken, <laughs> so I just want to make it all straight at the bottom. Um, I have like a vision of like a cute jumpsuit she's oh. going to be in. So that's what we're going to start rolling with, starting to cover the mason jar. And then we'll do little uh, sleeves and legs for the hands and feet. Blah, blah, blah. So, so I really like this deer. So I want to make sure that, oh the my gosh, deer, yes. that the deer stays. So that's how I will want to trim this. And it's always good to go longer than shorter because you can always cut more, but you can't make more 
come back. Oh, Melissa, you got some cone doll stuff. That's awesome. Ooh. Yellow is your favorite too, Tyler. Honestly. Yeah, I wore yellow because I know it's Cole's favorite. Yes, it is. Okay. And yes, I do have my cone doll tutorial and I have a few kits that I'm going to be offering up at the end of our craft. Oh, that's season. awesome. So you guys can, if you don't already know how to make one, you can watch the tutorial. And it's really easy to construct. so much fun to have someone to craft with I know thank you. thank you okay this is like the scary part because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to cut too much yes so I guess I'm going to just go right here and see how this does all right believe it's Friday. I know. I'm happy about it, though. Yes. Are you doing oh, anything yes, fun today. this weekend? Oh, well, I'm working. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What are you guys doing? Anything fun? Let us know. All right. So I'm going to just start by, and I like to use Gorilla Glue. It yeah. just seems sturdier than some, I don't know. For a while I had my grandmother's old vintage glue and that needed to be gone. <laughs> it just breaks and falls off. Oh gosh. So how are things over in TikTok land? TikTok land. Ashlyn says hi. Hi, Ashlyn. What's up? Uh, Andy Scott is watching. He's really cool. He does a lot of uh, vintage restorations himself. If anyone doesn't follow him on TikTok, you should. Well, maybe next week I will have a third device up and do my TikTok as well. Exactly. So I'm just creating my pleats. Melissa's asking what you're making, Cole. Uh, I am making a little bit or a little jumpsuit for, for her. So I'm doing the kind of bulk of it right now. I embellish it with some buttons and We'll have two feet and two hands. So, yeah. I might try to do a fun collar on it as well. Big, like, dagger collar. Oh, well, Phantom Girl, thank you so much for tuning in. We're so happy to have you here. Oh, thank you. When I do pleats, I have to make sure I keep raising them up because I tend to want to go. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't really give leave myself much forgiveness. I did trim it pretty a lot. So, oh, I'll hope for the best. Oh, yeah. It will be beautiful. Oh, did you show the doll head that you're using? Yes. She is quite the cutie. Oh, I love her. She's one of my faves. Oh, yeah. I have her. I have her, too. But not her too. Oh, yeah. Cuties. And then I have her in brunette. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, I have some cute 
like ribbon I'll do in her hair. So I'm excited. Use that matching the fabric, of course. I love this fabric. I found it at an antique store sometime last year. So I've been dying to use it. I guess I read your mind, Tyler. That's so funny. This is the one I'm using. I'm doing it. <laughs> Gotta love a cutie. Well, I wanted to keep that deer, but the deer is getting lost in the pleats. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> that's okay. I should have kept him more towards the bottom. Mm. But see, that's what happens. You learn. Exactly. You do something and then you learn for the next time. Trial and error. But we will have the pink poodle, so that's good. Cool. <laughs> so if you guys are on Instagram, um, I'm going to put together our doll inclusive Instagram page. I'm going to probably do it on Sunday. So if you want to share your creations and you're on Instagram, you can DM them to us there. Yes, definitely. And if you're not on Instagram, I will create a email address that you guys can send them into and put it in the video description. Um, Melissa, I am, we are making mason jar dolls today. Comb dolls will definitely have to be on the list though. Yes. Hey, Catworm. We are. We are having fun. Yes. Love the username. How it's looking so far. How is the weather out in Georgia? You know, it's a little bit cloudy. So, I mean, honestly, it's my favorite kind of weather. Mm -hmm. um, I don't ever do well in the sun, unfortunately. Yeah. So, I love a cloudy moment. How do you like that humidity out there? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, oof. When you take a shower and then five minutes later, you're soaking wet again. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a struggle. That's for sure. I had forgotten what it was like I grew up in Georgia and we don't really have humidity where I am in California. Yeah, no. Oh, lucky, honestly. It's like a swamp, it's like swamp weather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melissa, we know each other from Instagram. Yes. I had been following Cole's account for about the past year super obsessed with his creativity and oh. so one day i just reached out and said hey do you want to collaborate and craft together and, <laughs> and he was so, yeah he was so kind and so now here we are <laughs> you're so pale yeah i am a white skinned very <laughs> white skin myself. I put darker foundation on, but I've been called Snow White before. 
I can see it. That's a possible bit. Skin, but I think I have some Latin blood in me too, either Latin oh, yeah. or native blood. So mm -hmm. I, I'm able to tan. I don't now, you know, at my age, yeah. but when I was younger. So I don't have the kind of white skin that just burns. Thankfully, mm -hmm. I get the best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah, I cannot relate to that. I just burn. Aww. But. but these days, it's all sunless tanner for me. Exactly. Well, it looks like I came up short, so I'll have to cut some oh, more. No. <laughs> but that always happens when I do pleats. You burn like a tomato. Hey, Stacy. Well, Stacy, you and I are very much alike. So I ran out of fabric, so I'm just going to go ahead and just glue that little piece down and then I will cut some more. Here's how it's looking so far. I'm super excited about it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. All right. I guess I'll have to order some more of this fabric because everybody, yeah, everybody loves it. And this is probably my third time ordering it, but <laughs> all up today. Guess I'll start with this piece. Hey, Tanya. Hi. What are you making, Amy? Let's see how this one can work. Who else likes the sound of scissors cutting fabric? <laughs> I do. I do. I love the crunchy sound. There's oh, whole, awesome. whole channels on YouTube dedicated towards it. Oh, really? That's so oh cool. yeah. People love ASMR. Okay, I'm back in business here. Oh, yeah. Fold and laundry. Nice. Hey, there's an art to that. Honestly. Now, my grandmama taught me. I, I'm like, Grandmama, can I help you <laughs> uh, fold, fold the clothes? And she's like, she was very particular. Oh, my gosh. She's like, you can help me, but you have to do it the way I do it. And I'm like, okay. Wow. Uh, so, so she, this is how she folded her towels. And I still do it this way and honor my grandmother's seat. Fold one side here. And you do one side here. And then you do like this. And then you do like this. Love it. Something so, I'll never forget. No, I won't. <laughs> so, folding la uh, laundry can be relaxing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I worked at a uh, hair salon as an assistant, that's what I did all day. And I mean, oh, yeah. honestly, it's not it's not a bad time. No. When I worked at the Disney store, um, we had the t-shirt board and 
oh all my the gosh. shirts. I really love yeah. that. That's the way to do it. I use a book now at home because, you know, <laughs> just makes everything nice and neat. Exactly. I'm going to have to meet this whole line down here or else it's going to me. Join these together. You love to iron. I do not iron. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm bad at it. I'm a former nanny and I would always, when I interviewed for jobs, like I don't <laughs> iron. I do not take jobs that require ironing because I burn clothes. Oh my gosh. Well, you know your own strengths. Yeah, exactly. And it stresses me out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> because I have ruined too many clothes where you iron and it leaves like a weird burnt texture on the clothes <laughs> really <laughs> see i don't think i've ever done that yeah somehow i'm just not meant to iron and it well, okay. didn't go over <laughs> well with my husband because he's very old-fashioned and traditional and so mm -hmm. he was the man who was ironing his socks in college oh <laughs> and i've heard from some of his kids that he made his first wife iron his socks I'm oh like, gosh. I do not iron and I don't <laughs> like iron. So being on the road with him traveling, mm -hmm. I'm like, I will steam. And I brought a little portable steamer, but okay. I will not iron. And he <laughs> did not, he, it took him a long time to just accept the fact that I wasn't going to iron. I'm like, I'm not ruining these expensive clothes by ironing them so if you want to iron you can iron it yourself i will do so many things and believe me i wear so many hats i love it i will not iron now i will iron my fabric with a little tiny little mini iron. oh well that's fun <laughs> yeah but that's all that's all you feel Otherwise, like a giant yeah steaming that's it steaming is so easy and you can't ruin the clothes <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, Susan. <laughs> he's he's so funny. He's so fussy about the laundry, and then finally he just accepted that it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm like, I don't have time to babysit the laundry because I do so many things. Oh my gosh. Of course. He wanted the laundry taken out as soon as the washer cycle was over or else he says it wrinkles and it has to be put in the dryer immediately and taken out immediately. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't have that kind of time. Yeah, that's but never happened. <laughs> <laughs> so he finally just accepted that his clothes are not going to be crisp and starched at this stage in his life. <laughs> Oh no, did you burn yourself? Yeah, not, it's no big deal. My fingers are kind of immune to the. <laughs> yeah. At this point. Do you have any of those like rubber? Have you ever tried the rubber finger? I, thing? I don't think I would be able to manipulate my fingers. Yeah. Well with something on them like that. Okay, this is going to be cutting it close, but I think I can just make it work. So you had mentioned to me, Cole, that your mom as an artist, what kind of art does she do? She does a little bit of this and that. She actually went to art school for interior design. Oh, wow. um, now she actually works at a nonprofit foster care agency and she does uh, 
like she paints on suitcases, like vintage oh, wow. suitcases we find. So she does those for like weddings or like um, a lot of times for like baby showers. And it's oh, kind wow. of for uh, all the stuff, you know, a mom uh, gathers over time, over mm -hmm. the kid's life. So that's so cool. Yeah. Little memory boxes. I would love to see pictures of that. Yes. All right. Well, my skirt is in place. I love it. I am using the uh, the fabric underneath as kind of a turtleneck, if you will. And then I've gathered the fabric it. up, and so then I'll start adding some buttons. So cute. I love the little feet. And the little feet, of course. Yes, the crispness is nice. It's just not one of my talents. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, we have some five you. viewers here on YouTube. And I guess it's combined YouTube and Facebook. So I got this little vintage doily, so I'm going to put that on my lid. And it will be, it'll be kind of tricky, I guess, to open it. So you'll want it when once the head is on. So I would suggest whoever gets this to just take your hands like this and open it. All right, here we go. Let's see. I've never made one of these before, so... This is all experimental. Trial and error. Hi, Jen. Thanks for tuning in from Canada. Oh, that's awesome. Sure. Little daisy buttons. They'll kind of play in the front. So this will be the front. Need more glue. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hey, Sarah. I love using this floral paper wrap wire for my arms on just about everything. Love. I think I'll probably use pipe cleaners I picked Ooh. up. How I want to, how long I want the arms. So I've got these new old stock cute little baby. Oh, I love those. I have some of those. I think I'm going to use some of the, uh, the little extra hands if you ever buy uh, Factory Blythes. Uh -huh. I have oh, yeah. too many of these. So I like how dainty they are. Yeah. Awesome. 
I wonder. Do you ever lose stuff in your crafting studio? Of course. I could not find my fabric scissors to save my Oh, no. <laughs> Finally, I found them today, but I had them yesterday. And then... it, it wasn't a successful day if I don't lose something. <laughs> so. And I'm, I have my dream box and all this stuff is supposed to be so organized, but literally I can trash my <laughs> crafting studio in five seconds. Oh, yeah. Trashed. <laughs> Take me half the time, honestly. All right, let's see. Cute. And I have to try. I always, I start out with fabric scissors, and then they end up becoming anything scissors, and I have to oh, yeah. fabric scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stay sacred. And I have some wire clippers, but I can't find them. Oh, no. You know, because they're lost in the heap of everything. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't know if I wanted to have funny little long arms or if I want them to be in the right proportion. Let's see. Okay. Well, that needs to go on the other side. Oh, those match the QP perfectly. Right? I'm so excited. Yes. Because I didn't even know I had these. I mean, no, I didn't know I had them. Love the hands. Oh, I love. She looks so cute. Thank you. Vintage kissed. You're looking for a good pair right now. Okay, well, I'm going to take a little wrap a felt and wrap my wire so that it connects better in there. Oh, yes, Jean is so much stronger. <laughs> so much stronger than pipe cleaner. Oh, perfect. Because um, I was just using pipe cleaner for so yeah. long. And then when I have them holding ceramic pieces and things, it's just not mm -hmm. sturdy. So I started yeah. putting the swirl wire in. Okay, that's awesome. And just having the pipe cleaner for the hands. Yeah. To have that look, but... This is what I use to make my post dolls. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, this is my my Chuck Negron oh, elf. Oh yeah. And I, I mean, I made house. him probably 2018 or 17. Oh. He's been all over the place and posing and bending. So love it. It's really good. It's really sturdy. So yeah, now I'm trying to use this in all of my larger dolls' um, okay. arms because it's just so much better. Earlier, yeah. So I wrapped it with some felt so that when I put it in here, it just is more secure. Perfect. Hey, Ken Fawn on TikTok, how's it going? Oh, 
Okay, Melissa, have fun. Melissa um, fosters hospice cats and gives oh. them their best life. Bless in their you. Olden years, I would not be able mm. to do it. Mm -mm. it no, you're so, a saint. <laughs> so painful. So, oh. Melissa, you're amazing. Yes, you are. Do you put him on a harness if you're still here, Melissa, or do you take him in a stroller? Because I'm going to get a <laughs> stroller for my cat, Yuki. Oh, my gosh. Because my husband needs to start going on walks. And <laughs> so I guess you won't well, be getting a pink one then if your husband. <laughs> well, now he won't mind. If it's pink. Oh, okay. It's totally cool. Okay, well, good. Um, but I did look at pink ones. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pink one for my dog. You Oh, you do? Awesome. Of course. We'll have to do like, um, what do you call it when you remix? Like when we'll have to do a remix of us both. Yes, definitely. Um, I think my cat Yuki is the one who's most likely to like the stroller situation. Because mm -hmm. I can put him on my little flatbed uh, cart and roll him around the house. He likes to do that. So. How cute. I think he might enjoy going for walks. And then I'll feel more motivated to walk because I got the cat stroller. Yes, exactly. You got a companion. Oh, Patricia, sure. So it's um it's this paper wrap floral wire. And I just get it at Michael's or, you know, any craft store. And it has like this brown kind of paper wrapped, you know, they make it with the green string wrap, but this is thicker. And um, it just has worked really well for me with my post dolls. So I'm thinking, I don't want to use that color because it's good. I may reinforce the sleeves with some felt too, so it's Ooh. just sturdier. All right, and you can see I am currently making a pants leg. So. Oh, so cute. Yeah, super fun. Of course, Patricia. Oh, that's so Aww. nice, Tyler. I just can't handle losing them and No, oh gosh, no. So I'm you know, there it takes a special kind of person that's able to just go through that process. Oh yeah. With an animal and for me it's like mm worst pain in life mm -hmm. my gosh yeah i lost my little one qp uh i guess it's been two years now but um, oh, he was a little all white shih tzu and such such a sweetie but he is in how, how long did you have him i had him for only like three years he he Got stung by a bee and went into shock. Oh yeah, God. so yeah, so like really out of the blue. Yeah, and it was um super early in the morning, and then by the time we tried to get him there, he just was gone. So very hard. Yeah, I mean, three years every day of your life is still a lot of strong yeah. bond. Yeah, because I don't really ever see myself having children. I just see myself mm -hmm. having, like, lots of tiny dogs. So Oh, I love that. Yeah, I got my um, fulfillment through being a, a nanny for over 20 years. And yeah. I've raised so many children. And it was <laughs> so rewarding. Oh, I'm sure. But at the end of the day... I am happy to just have my own life. 
Yeah. So I did not consider the width of the fabric for the chunky little arms. Oh no. <laughs> but that's okay because we'll just use some trim. We'll, we'll improvise. This is all part of creating. You have to find solutions when you make errors in judgment. So and it will be cuter in the long run. We will figure it out. And I like that part of it actually. I love problem solving and yeah. figuring out how to fix things when you made a boo boo. Yeah, when you realize, oh, this isn't going to work. I don't want to call it a mistake. Just an error in judgment. Exactly. Tyler is asking if QP was a Yorkie. Oh, no. QP was a little uh, all white Shih Tzu. He was so sweet. There is a um, Korean dog spa in Atlanta that does like, they can like tent your dogs like for a week kind of stuff. Um, I think it's like almost like, I don't know, like hair chalk for dogs. But we um. always, you know, take him to the groomers. And it's like a whole little spa. They got like the whole shebang. Um, but we would get him tinted like pink and blue and all like fun cotton candy colors. So yes, he was he was an angel. But now I have a Yorkshire Terrier life actually, which is just a little over a year now. Aww. My youngest Yuki is the white cat and he is yeah a little over eight. well now i guess he's gonna be two um he'll be two this spring but we got him in 2020 when i lost my 18 year old oh cat. my gosh and that was just devastating yeah i lost his brother at age 14. oh no to cancer but i mean having a companion yeah for that long in life is mm -hmm. just he'd been they both had been through so many things with me and kabuki was like my soulmate kitty and it just came out of nowhere all of a sudden he just declined with some strange stomach issues and right at the beginning of the pandemic it was so heartbreaking but it, it just happened so fast Tiki, we had like a nine month battle with cancer. Uh oh, we lost Cole's face. Let me get it back in. There you are. Well, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Perfect. I am back. Sorry about that. No worries. But Tiki was my first big loss. And I mean, mm. I was just like, I don't even want to live if I can't. If TK's yeah. going to be gone. That's just how yeah. it felt. But I got through it. Some Somehow you find the strength. Oh, yeah. To get through it. And then we got Ponyo oh. to be a companion for Kabuki. And they really bonded. It was a magical mm -hmm. thing. Oh, I love and that. having a new baby just really oh, yeah. helps it to heals. heal. Yep. Okay, so let's see now. I'm gonna take some more fabric and maybe make a little ruffly sleeve here. That's what I would do. Oh, Daniel, yes, rascal, precious babe. Oh. Thank you for tuning in, Daniel. Yes. And you guys, a great way to support us is to give us a thumbs up on the video. You don't even have to leave the video yes, to do please. it. Because when you do that, it pushes the video out to more people so that they get to see us. Oh, you have little muffin? Wait, what? 
Did I miss? Is Muffin a new baby, Daniel? Did I miss mm -hmm. those? How did I not know? Okay, let's see. How am I going to attach this? Maybe down here. And then use some embellishments to hide that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Sorry, guys. I have to be mindful of staying in the frame. Well, that, that didn't help. I put it in the wrong place. All right. Well, we're going to take it back off while it's still wet. That's where it needed to go. Okay. So where do you find a lot of your like doll heads and I mean other little treasures you craft with? Well, because um, my husband is so high risk for COVID mm -hmm. complications, I can't really go out and shop anywhere. So I have mm -hmm. to do it all online. Oh, okay. So I just scour eBay and Etsy. Yeah, there's like this whole, I know there's a Etsy shop that just sells like the plastic vintage doll heads and faces. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what people have. Yeah. So I do that. And then some of my friends in the community come across them when they're out thrifting for their vintage awesome. shops and then they'll source things for me. And I mean, even when I was able, I've only been doing this upcycling of the vintage doll heads for, mm -hmm. you know, a little over a year. Yes. But when there was a time where it was safe enough for me to go out, mm -hmm. um, I still wasn't really finding them in the wild. Gotcha. Here in California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah California is definitely a, a harder place I've noticed to thrift. A lot yeah. more competitive, for sure. Obviously, the closer into the city you go. Okay, well, this worked out to fix my sleeve, but now I have to try to remember what I did for the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the ultimate struggle. I made a little fan, but let's see if I can recreate this on the other side here. So I just have to keep that in my mind. I made a little fan. Aw. And then try to see if I can replicate this on the other side. So here is my little. Oh, that's amazing. Love it. And then I'll put some Love embellishment around it to hide the seams, which I got this vintage little blocked flower. Oh, those are so cute. Print. But um, I do have also a lot of my grandmama's crafting materials and oh. fabrics too. Oh, that's amazing. So. That's what originally inspired me to start making dolls back yeah. in 2007. Oh, that's amazing. Is that I wanted to make so do something special with my grandma's yeah. fabrics and crafting supplies. And I know I shared that with you, but I don't yeah. know that all the viewers know, but um, I first tried quilting and <laughs> that didn't work out with the fabric. So. Because I'm not good with math, and it was too much oh, math. Same. Like, I didn't know quilting involved math. So <laughs> I does. gave up on quilting, and I started sculpting dolls and polymer and using her fabrics and her embellishments. And originally called my business Betty Dolores Designs after my grandma's name. But then everybody thought that I was Betty. Oh, Which well. I didn't mind, but it's just a lot. And then you got to explain it. And anyway, life happened, and I just didn't have the time to keep doing it. So now I'm back all these years later doing okay. a little different version of doll making. Amazing. And I'm looking forward to getting back into sculpting now that I have you to inspire yes. and motivate me. 
Definitely. And I would love to hear if anybody has recommendations of clay, because I'm thinking I want to like try something new. I just don't know. I want like something sturdier, which. Have you tried paper clay? I've tried it once or twice. It's just like, I think I even still have some, but it just, I don't know. It didn't, I like to do, or the smaller details I have a hard time with. Okay. I haven't tried it yet. It's something yeah. I'm wanting to try. But I know I've seen people sanding it and stuff. Yes. Yeah. And carving and stuff. So I don't know. The polymer, polymer for me was frustrating because mm -hmm. it's like so unpredictable. Yeah. And a lot of my dolls have cracked over time. Mm, yeah. Made. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to try the paper clay and see how that works. Yeah. But I, I just feel like I don't really enjoy sculpting bodies. It, I don't really like sculpting, period, if I'm honest. I like the painting <laughs> and the designing of the costume. Yeah. Here. yeah. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do very basic heads and mm -hmm. have most of my detail painted yes that's my thought and then we'll see how that goes yes that's amazing yeah my goal for this year is to get into like actually molding some pre-made doll heads i have and like some hands so i can then obviously <clears throat> uh kind of pop them out at a, a quicker rate and also do kind of collections where, you know, each one is individually different, but like this collection right. all has the same like head and hand really? sculpt and then next collection I'll sculpt another one and okay. so on and so forth. Have you done casting and make mold making before? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend is into special effects. So she actually has kind of walked me down how she does some, um, what does she do? She she does like miniature stuff. Uh -huh. So she's helped me with that. So I, I have like a pretty good understanding. I just have to like. Do it. Yeah. Do you have a vacuum chamber? No, but I have one in access. Okay. Uh, she has two. Which... Cause, yeah, good. Cause when I tried it years ago, that was my mm -hmm. issue is. Yeah. If you don't have the vacuum chamber, then you get all these tiny little pinholes. Holes, yeah. And at that point, I just gave up. So <laughs> I, I also want to get to that level myself. Yes. So Amazing. I know that a lot of people use, um, I don't know what kind of clay it is. It's like a gray clay. Um, is it the two part? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my friend, but it's like a, a modeling clay and then they use that to sculpt the original and then they make the mold instead of okay. doing it in polymer. Yeah. But I want to partner with my friend who is amazing at sculpting and yes. get her to help me too because I want to make my own basic heads like you're saying and then... Yes. Then I just paint the details, which is my exactly. fun part. Exactly. I don't know where are my hands still available. I have them. Oh, sorry. Me... Oh, it's all good. I just realized that I am no longer with hands. Hey, Mark. Hi. How is it going? Yeah, Angela's talking about the epoxy. Yes, the epoxy. I just, oh, I hate working with toxic materials and yeah, I just it's... don't know with the epoxy, like I can probably tolerate it to do mm -hmm. minor stuff on a Blythe, yeah. basement, but I don't know that I would want to work with it mm -hmm. so much Yeah, because if you have to wear gloves and a respirator, mm -hmm. literally, oh, I just, it's a like hard deal. Yeah. So, unfortunately, we'll just experiment this year, you know, I'm down. 
I just need somebody to push. And I'm I'm a pusher. <laughs> I'm a pusher. And then having to show up for somebody that exactly. that motivates me to do it too. So and I love having somebody to just come up with ideas because in, in my life I'm like the one that kind of does everything. So it's nice to have somebody else kind of take the reins yes. and then I can just show up with my materials. Like you come up yeah. with the idea for this and then I don't have to think of something. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a little vacation for me. Exactly. So what are we going to do next week, Cole? Next week. I have a list. It's on my phone. Um, I'm trying to think. What I had. I just thought of something cool today. This oh, why don't we do like um, a QP makeover? That's what I was thinking of today. Okay, yay! I love those. Yes, I loved the little ones or the little one you gave heart wings uh, on the live sale. So I was like. I kind of want to do something like that. Did you see the ones that I had? Um, like I did the feather wings on a, it's almost like, you know how they have the, the butterflies mounted on a board. Oh yes. I did see that one. Yeah. So it was love, like the feather wings. Oh, anything with wings. So cute. Right. But I love giving them new eyes. So I'm yeah, I'm already really excited about next week now. So I'm gonna use some of the eye chips I got Ooh. for the blinds and make it into a magical creature. So Oh amazing. Give him give Cupid new eyes and Cupid will turn into an exotic. I did a bat. For Halloween and it was so cute. Oh, I love it. Let's see what we make. Maybe a bunny. Oh, I'm down. Gotta love a bunny. Gosh, we have 56 viewers. I'm so honored. Oh, hi everyone. Thank you so much for watching. This is so relaxing. It so is. Just needed an excuse to. Exactly. My week has been so busy and crafting under pressure mm -hmm. for the sales, then I lose the joy sometimes. Yeah. So right now it's just like, not even thinking about it. I don't have to do it in a certain amount yep. of time. Mm. Just let your hands take you where you end up. Not even thinking about it, just doing yep. it. Exactly. So for those of you just tuning in, be sure to subscribe to our channels. Yes. Cole's link is in the description of the video. We need to get him to 1,000, you guys. Yes, I will be posting a new video in the next two days. So stay That's tuned. Nice. Aw, Annette, thank you. Hey, Ivana. <laughs> Your sister was saying that you were wanting one of my doll crafting kits. So I'm going to have a couple available today when we do our little sale at the end. Thank you guys for being so cool. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you do things like this, people get bossy, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like, you need to do this or you need to pull.
pull put your camera this way or that way, you know, and it's like, you guys are so cool. Just letting us be in the zone and just hanging out here. We got free roam. And that's what we want. That's the vibe we want. No stress. That's awesome, Yvonne. I can't wait to see what you create. I'm having so much fun putting the kits together, curating the supplies, and then I get to see what you guys, how you guys reimagine everything that I put together. It's going to be fun. And I have a little um, cone doll tutorial on my channel. Yes. For those of you who are, you know, not avid crafters that want to try something new. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's how good it is. Best laid plans. But luckily, I can rotate it. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. They're not in the right direction, but they're rotatable, if that's a word. Oh. Okay, so we got the arms. I would love it. Now let's see how they fit. Oh, yeah. I need to put trim around the this part of the sleeve. So let's see what trim I'm going to use. Oh, oh look, guys. Look at oh, the bunny. Oh, well, I'll bring him later. I want to see what you have going on. Yes. Hold it closer so I can see. Oh. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Awesome. So oh my next is for the head. So yeah, I'm going to be offering this bunny up later on today, you guys. Cute. This is my favorite vintage bunny oh. head. Oh my gosh. And they're, they're so hard to find. I only have a handful of them yeah. so far this year. Oh. Okay, oh yeah, I was going for trim. And then I got distracted because the bunny was in my trim bucket. Okay. This is only I some of my little bird on him. <laughs> Let's see what I want to use for the edging. I keep snagging my crochet shirt with my bracelet. All right. Let's see. Something on the edges so that we can keep it from fraying. Yes. So it needs to be this is so cute, but it'll be tricky. <sighs> so thin that it's going to be a pain in the you know what if I use this. But I am going to want to match up whatever I use for the bottom, and I'm going to need a whole lot of something. Yeah. Bottom. I do have a whole lot of this. <laughs> it's just going to be messy. This will be a maybe. Let's see if I have anything better. <sighs> I guess... This. Oops. No, that's too clowny. I guess that's what I'll use. Oh, Sherry, I have not seen that reel, but I feel it. <laughs> like, I totally, I totally agree with that. Yeah, people, people who don't craft might not understand that it's like, and especially upcycling with vintage, the materials mm -hmm. can be the heads themselves, for me, 
because I have to buy them through Etsy and eBay. The heads can be very pricey because I'm not lucky enough to find them at thrift stores or Goodwills. So I might, for a really good head, I'll pay 15 or $20. Okay. Well noted. I'll keep an eye out, though, because I always find, like, pretty cheap uh, post-style dolls, honestly. Oh, my gosh. Please. So. Thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> of course. I love the ones that you sent me. Oh, yay. And I already made two dolls with them. I know. I saw. Mm -hmm. I was very honored. And the com composition one isn't, like, my usual brand, but it was so yeah. much fun to do because... It was so different. So I love that. Oh, good. Yeah, I love yeah. stepping outside of my. Oh, well, good. Role. Yeah. And, you know, and then there were people that liked that style. Yeah. So I, it broadens my environment. Awesome. And then there were those that were like, that doll is creepy. <laughs> but I like creepy. Yeah, exactly. I like creepy I have some that are, um, I don't know what you call them, but they're, I don't know, dime store, dime store dolls or something. Oh, like, yeah. Come really on, that heart-shaped face, you know? Oh, yes, yes. If you have one of those, we could do um, a restyling of them, make an outfit. I might have one. I need to go through the doll chest. I'm just if like you don't, then we can send you one because I know I have a few. Okay, that could be a fun project. That's true, Sherry. That's true. Hey, Sydney girl. Thank you for jumping in here. Hey, Sydney. How you. are you? Great to see you today. I'll show you what we have so far. Here is her little head. Love it. Thank you. And then, as you can see, a little bit creepy, but yeah, undo the lid, and then you got a storage container. Love so it. This is what I have so far. Oh my gosh. The little doily's perfect. Right, I love it. Mm -hmm. A little scared. All right, let's get back to this. This is the time consuming part is gluing all the edging on. Mm -hmm. Because I have the whole skirt to do. <laughs> Oh. Hi, Jane. Thanks, Dreed. So Sydney is going to be one of our admins on our doll inclusive yes. account, you guys. So give her a follow. Her name on Instagram is Sad Girl Dolls, I believe. Yes. Yes, Sad Girl Dolls. I'll put that link in the video description here once. We yes. Post it. She always has super cute edits. She, as well, loves pink. So <laughs> if you love pink, check out her account. And she interviews people in the doll and toy yes. community. But you have to go to her IGTV um, section of her page. It's not posted on the main page. So click on the little videos section to find those because she interviewed Cole and she yes. just interviewed Rush, Rush and Barbie. Yes. So, fun. so it's so fun to get to know everyone. Exactly. Put faces to the, uh, you know, profile pictures. Mm -hmm. And voices. Exactly. And kind of personality somewhat. All right, now I'm wrapping the uh, arm in the cute fabric for the sleeve. Yay. Coming together. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, Amy takes two hours to make her arms. <laughs> no, I love it though. <sighs> okay. You're making sure those arms are right. All right. I'm going to need another glue stick. Oh, no. <laughs> I am like, I'm going to run out before I get done. So I got to pop one in. Uh -oh. Who else hates the strings of the glue? Ooh, I hate, me too. I hate hot glue strings. So annoying. Of course, you can, uh, I've used them as like, or in different projects for like, oh, um, yeah? yeah, like spider webs. Um, I've done in a little like haunted dollhouse. Oh, wow. I did a few years ago. So, I mean, there's, there's things you can use it for. Or like, um, if you're making like a candle wax, like effect, you can use hot glue for it and the strings or, or like slime. I've done that as well on some oh, projects. Nice. Uh, do some, you know, gooey kind of. I didn't like the positioning guys, so that's why I ripped it off, but it's okay. Do that before it dries. I need to attach it from the front so I can really see where I'm putting it. And then when I'm done, I stand up and like my pants are all covered and, and everything. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I will tell you guys this is embarrassing, but you know, you get all these little scraps of crafting junk all over your floor. I mean, just from sitting here today, I could sweep the floor and then just oh, yeah. from today. And then I go walk out in the hall of my condo. <laughs> yeah. You go through the hallway and in front of our door, there's crap on the carpet. Like there's little pieces of glittery materials and hot glue strings and all this mm -hmm. stuff oh my God. out in front of our door. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. But it's on the bottom of my slippers, and then I step oh, out. Oh yeah, and then cracks everywhere. But the HOA won't allow us to have mats. Oh really? On one of our doors. So if we could have doormats, it wouldn't be like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I'm getting slightly frustrated here. Frustrated? Well, because trying to position the arms. Oh, yeah. And I don't want them on the lid. Probably should take the lid off. Oh, Amy's or er, Amy's watching on Facebook. She Yay. says hi. Thank you for checking out the Facebook version, yeah. you guys. Thank you, Mark. And look, Mark, it's blue. Mark Claw. Yes. Hi, Mark. <laughs> yep. Blue. Oh, 
Oh, Annie, that is so sweet of you to offer. Um, yes, I do have a PO box. Hey, Marsha. Um, oh, Patricia, I'm glad that you are into doll rescue. Aww. And then Diana, um, I'm sorry that I'm just now getting to your comment, but we're using, oops, we're using mason jars. Yes. So they can double as crafting storage. Exactly. So when I'm completely done, I'm going to go back through and reinforce under here with some glue just to make sure. Because awesome. when I'm pleating, I'm focusing on the front. Yeah. And I'm I make sure it's completely attached on the underside as well. So go back and do that. But all right. So the oh, arms are attached. Oh, Jean, uh, Sad Girl Dolls is on Instagram. Her name is, or her name's Sydney. She's still watching. Go check her out. Yeah, I'll put that link in when I post if you guys have yes. trouble finding her. Let's see where it is. So whoever gets this doll, I would not recommend opening it by twisting the, the head. Oops, how do I get this on here? I would use this. Right? Yeah, same. I said. You don't. Yeah, you don't want to twist the head off. Yeah. I'm doing it, but don't don't do as I do. <laughs> right now it's very loose. So all right, I just want to make sure of placement. Okay, that would be good. I'm probably gonna reinforce um this with some stronger glue as well, actually. Okay. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. Oh, okay, Amy, good to know that the Facebook view doesn't stack us properly. <laughs> well, anyone who's watching on Facebook, if you want to jump over on YouTube to get... The stacked view, you can. Yes. Just want to reach as many of my followers as I can. And too bad that Instagram doesn't allow us to do third party streaming or we would yeah. be there too. And next week I will try doing another device with TikTok. Yes. Because I don't know, maybe, well, I don't know if StreamYard includes TikTok. I'll have to look. But I went to a conference, a virtual conference yesterday for uh, StreamYard. Yes. Yeah, and it was so inspiring and motivating. Oh, awesome. and I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to taking my vintage dish show to a whole new level. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, which was always my intention to make it segmented with different fun content and not just yeah. the interview. Oh, that's so, that's yeah. so exciting. I know. So we're, we're going to be featuring Cole's um, yes. toy history clips and things. And it's it would be fun to do like best of ISN live sales, a little yes. bit of all this fun, like funny moments from that past week. And anyway, I have a lot of fun stuff in mind. Bledrick oh, yeah. TV and Bobo. Um, where is Bobo? Belligerent and QP and Bobo are going to have their own oh little God. segment <laughs> where Belligerent QP tries to teach Bobo about core values. So I actually, am obsessed with that. <laughs> very interesting. It <laughs> um, needs to happen immediately. It's going to be, it's going to happen if I pull it all off in time. It will not be this week, but it will be the following. So, not this coming Monday. This coming Monday, I did a pre record with Nate from My Vintage is 1976. Yes. So that is that was a very um, fun record. So oh, Awesome. I can't wait to watch. That will be on Monday, you guys. The Vintage Dish is my talk show. Originally inspired to um, interview our viewers and spotlight them, but I have expanded onto 
sellers, artists, musicians, all okay. all different kinds of people. You do a little bit of everything. Yeah. So if anyone is interested in being a guest on my show, yes. hit me up. I'm booking into May right now. I want to get Sydney on. I would so watch that. And Mark, yes, Mark was a guest. So yes. you guys can check out the replays and get Ooh, to know. I need to watch that. Yeah, get to know the people in our community, yes. the buyers, the viewers, the sellers, the artists. Um, mm -hmm. My friend Morley, who's a musician. It's just Ooh. a lot of fun to see everybody's collections and get yeah. to know them beyond the sales and the streaming. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. I'm like so envious of mark's uh blue christmas collection <laughs> right something i mean my gosh something else so curated nicely look how cute this is it's starting to look like the little empire waist oh god yes i love it so now i feel like okay i want some cute little embellishments to go yes. there some little flower stuff all right let me see what i have all right, and so we already got the arms on this little one. Bendy. Oh, so cute. Yes, and we're gonna do little uh, flowers on the shoulder for a little added accent. So stay tuned. I found these vintage yellow flowers that I might end up using on here maybe for a cute little embellishment or I can do tiny ones they compete with that one so i might use those but i'll wait till the end okay i have to do this part is just like uh, i don't want to have to glue all this tiny trim on the bottom mm -hmm. but i have to you have to. I have to and it will pay off in the end i can tell you that i don't want to <laughs> it's boring okay Okay, guys, so, all right, I'm not going to do that. I was like, well, I want something from the other side of the room. And mm -hmm. the way I'm set up right now, I literally have to crawl under my table to get out. <laughs> but I guess I'll just use this glue for now. I have this special E6000 fabric, oh. bonding fabric to slick mm -hmm. stuff. But I'm just going to use the fabric, I mean, the, what is it called? Liquid fusion. So I'm just oh, going to go okay. in here in this crease and just reinforce the head to the fabric because the hot glue doesn't like to stick to vinyl that well. And since this is a lid and you guys might forget and grab the head and twist it, I just want it to be have a little better reinforcement here. And I'm just going to use this little plastic Going to kind of push the glue down in like that. Um, all right, then I'm going to put something around her for like a little collar. What do I want to use for that? So if I don't like it, I can take it back off. Yeah, that's that's good. I don't want too many competing colors and textures. Yeah. So white is good. But I need more ones. Oh, here it is. I knew I had a whole spool of it somewhere. Oh, thank you, Mark. Yes, I got this from Spoonflower. It's wallpaper. I need to wallpaper 
an accent wall here in my studio. Haven't gotten around to doing it. And then I'm using it for the accents on my tabletops, but this is kind of a temporary fix because I need to put clear vinyl over it so that I don't muck up the actual wallpaper. And I'm just, I was doing a temporary thing just to get it set up. So I'm just using a little hot glue to add this to this because as you guys know, the stuff that takes a long time to dry does not grab and bond quickly. So I'm going to cheat a little here for the back side and that way she'll have a good finished look. All right, so now back to the part I don't want to do, the boring part. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't this tiny little stuff. Yeah. And technically, I should probably have started on the back and not the front, but whatever. It's already done. And this is why I can't have pretty nails. Oh, gosh, yeah. I hear that. But I will tell you, when this pandemic is over, I am going to get my nails done just to have them done, even if it's just for a day. <laughs> there, there you go. Treat yourself. All right, this isn't so bad. It's going to go faster than I thought. Good. Yay, and it's so pretty. Oh. I love That's this. Nicely. Yes, I love this salmony pink, as you guys can mm -hmm. see, because I have it on my wallpaper, too. But I was telling Cole that it is a goal of mine to get the same fabric in this wallpaper and have an apron made and a head wrap. I love matchy matchy. <laughs> I am so honored that we are like, holding strong with around 50 viewers like oh, that's amazing. this is amazing thank you everyone and we're going to be here every week you guys we're yes. we'll be, between my channel and cole's we will be doing this every week i won't we won't always be on my facebook page because we'll only be on my facebook page when it's my week to do it um so those of you watching on Facebook, be sure to subscribe to our channels on YouTube so you don't miss out on anything. Yes, for sure. Because next week we'll be over on Cole's YouTube channel. And then tomorrow night, you guys, I'm doing a live sale with my husband. Ooh. And it'll be our first time doing the live sale simultaneously here on YouTube. Because usually we are just on Facebook because the core of his fan base is on Facebook. But I'm bringing it to my YouTube. How exciting. Page. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, my husband was in a band called Three Dog Night. He was one of the original lead singers. So we will be offering up signed Three Dog Night memorabilia and then his own merch. And then I'll have some fun themed one-of-a-kind creations that he will sign for you guys as well. And even if you're not there to shop, please tune in because he will be doing, you know, question and answer. He tells really fun stories. And it's fun to see all of the memorabilia the nostalgia yeah. is awesome. and he's kind of funny so. <laughs> yeah he's entertaining and he said that he would do a segment on my vintage dish show so we have to come up with what that segment will be about mm -hmm. that's awesome
<laughs> there's Mark. Chuck is so funny and so many great stories. Stacy, he's a hoot. Thank you. Oh, somebody has a puppy playdate, Sherry. Puppy playdate with your sister. That's so fun. Thank you for tuning in. Yay, Annette. I look forward to seeing you there. I got to pull all the items. I don't even know what we're going to have yet. This has been such a full week for me. It's my first full week with yeah. my new schedule and... It's kicked my butt. I'm saying, I'm going to be honest. Like, and then I looked at my calendar to see because I was trying to only do two um, main sales a week. Yeah. And this week I had three. Oh. And I'm like, surely I don't have three next week, but I have three the next three weeks. I think. So. Oh I'm wow. Like, okay. Well, hey. I better buckle in. Mm hmm. Because I'm doing all my shipping myself again, and um, I'm, you know, wanting to stay on top of it, and I am. Yeah. I have everything packaged um, from Wednesday and last night, and actually labeled and processed as well. Look at so you. Plug them into the invoices, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So after we're done here, I'm going to be making my post office run. Now. And then I will be ready to take on the next batch. Amazing. But we'll see. We'll see how long I can keep up the pace. <laughs> Being up till two in the morning, getting up oh at gosh. Eight or nine. Okay, Mark, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, thanks, Mark. Great to thank see you. Ivana, I can't wait for you to get your gorgeous doll, too. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy that your sister brought you in, and I'm so happy that your sister found me as well. Oh it makes it just, I feel so honored when I have collectors who love my doll so much like yeah. oh. does. ow 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 i can handle the glue but when the tip of the glue gun touches me that oh thank you that's when it really hurts <laughs> so sorry kathy you can try to watch on the replay later. Yeah. Maybe it'll be better then. Or try a different browser sometimes. So you guys in the comments, why don't you tell us what kinds of dolls you like to collect or if you're not into dolls what you do collect or if you're not into collecting what you like to create maybe you're a crafter yeah. well i think i'm a little over halfway through oh yeah i think it's awesome. about the same well i mean just on the skirt but <laughs> But yeah, I think on the whole doll too. Yeah. So I have to decide if I'm gonna Yeah. I'm gonna give her legs or not. Oh. I don't know. I might I probably I don't need them, but I'm gonna mm -hmm. hold them up and see if I want them. Oh, you're doing her hair now. I am. I don't have any hair to <laughs> Maybe one day or how we teach you how to reroute, uh, mm -hmm. we could do a QB. 
Those are fun to do. So then you have to poke the holes in yourself. Mm -hmm. And then that's a good way to like practice Learn getting it in of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause like, yeah. I, okay. oh, I've done just like, you know how the QPs have the little sprouts of hair. I've just like covered those in hair. Wow. Um, okay. So it's not the whole head. So, okay. But then it it's not so like overwhelming. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay, I'm Do you use a Dremel to drill in or something? Um, no, I just use the uh, rerouting tool. Just okay, I gotta order that. I gotta get it on. Yes. Yeah, you can get them. Um, like I think I sent you the link off Dolly here. Yeah. So you can get them yeah. anywhere. I mean, for the. I most love part. that that website still exists because that's where I was buying my hair back in two thousand seven when I first really? started. Oh, Dollyhair.com and Restore yep. Doll. They both still exist. Yes. Okay. Aw. So I love that. Yeah, I gotta, I mean, if I need just like, I usually use Dolly Hair for more like specialty stuff, um, like things that change color, glow in the dark. Oh, God, I love those. Me too. Get and so, so excited. Yes. And the fibers they them. use are just like really, really beautiful. Sometimes yeah. I've noticed with that uh, glow in the dark hair, it's, I don't know, too, it, it's too like dense. It's not very like silky and shiny. It's very oh, stiff. Okay. So, but Dolly hair has really good glow in the dark. It's been a long time since I had the glow in the dark, but I had the heat sensitive. Yes. I mermaid. Oh, um, those were so fun. Pink to white. Yes. Honestly, I wish my hair did that. I know, right? Can we get that effect on our own hair? Honestly. Okay, let's see what everybody is collecting. Oh, Kathy, that's so fun. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, that's wonderful, Cindy. Cancer free for eight years. Was that for, oh, your husband? Oh my gosh, that's a blessing. Hey, Amy. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm clicking and then it's putting them up there. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so Annette. Ooh, this can cupies. What is an caustic painting? What does that mean? Tell us about that. Annette is into this cupies. Love it. And then Patricia says the doll just speaks to her, usually the facial expressions. I love that. I feel and that. Evan loves living dead dolls. Monster High, I love Monster High. I have one little tiny living dead. Aww. Ever After High, Apple Trolls, Vampire Halloween Dolls. Love, love, love. Amy girl, you gotta get that new phone upgrade. When is that coming? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be so glad when I'm done with this trim. Ow. How are things going over in TikTok land? Hmm, let's see. Aw. McMuffin says hello. Hello, McMuffin. <laughs> now I want an egg McMuffin. Me too. What happened? You know, they were selling those all day long and now they don't anymore. Like, what is that? Oh, really? Like? Yeah. They used hmm. to have them 24 7. Oh, Cindy, her stuff sells in seconds on her feed. Cool. Her buyers, they don't, they don't play. <laughs> 
Amy Wildflower, are you still here? Let me know if you're still in here because I have have something to talk to you about. Ooh. Oh no, I hear a helicopter outside. That means there's probably some kind of high speed chase or something oh, going on. <laughs> Or a rogue gunman or something. Oh my gosh. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I only yeah. have this little bit more to do. And then, like you said, I'll, I'm so happy I did it because it looks so good. Exactly. And also, you guys get to see, like, the whole process, how long it takes us to make these creations. Exactly. Start to finish, pretty much. I should have taken pictures throughout. I forgot about that part. Oh, yeah. I could post it. <laughs> the before and after. Next time, because remember, we were going to, like, we were going to film TikToks and yep. Reels throughout <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because you get caught up in the you do. creative mindset. And I'm covered in hot glue. <laughs> All right, so here she is so far. I love her. Here is where we're at. I'm going to put you, I want to see you um, full screen. Let's see how I do this. So we can see it full yeah. screen. Okay. Bend the arms. Bottom. Gosh, you're a little bit blurry. So I am. The details. Mm. Let's see. I just love um, how you constructed it. Yeah, let me put that one up there. Okay. For some reason, it seems like it. Oh, it's much clearer that that one. Oh, oh this oh, one is. God. Yes, I love it. Really? See, it's blurry for me. That's interesting. How does it look on you guys's end? Yeah, your computer camera is interesting. That's the clear no, one. That one is crystal clear. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Hot well. wax painting. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, she's adorable. Cool. I love her. Thank you. So is yours. Thank you. Oh, Such goodness. different takes. I love it. Uh huh. Gotta love the collar. Sweet doily. Yeah, so now I want to put some ribbon around the, the under the lid on this side so that if it's exposed, it will oh, cover this. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. Put some more ribbon detailing on. All right, let's see. Oh, that's awesome, Shadia. Thank you. Oh. 
Um, so Amy, if you're still in here, I saw you a minute ago. I need you to start capturing if you, I mean, if you will, I would love for you to start doing some screen captures of really epic moments during the live sales. Yes. That'd be amazing. So that I can feature some of it on my vintage dish. Of course, I will ask the people if it's okay. Why don't you send it to me? But like, cause you go to so many live sales, then you can screen record epic moments <laughs> for me as a content contributor. Yes. Or you can just tell me, hey, there was this amazing, funny part on so and so sale, and then I can go back and grab it. Gotcha. If I need to. All right. So, probably going to do two layers of this so that it's not crinkly looking. Oh, let me. So your desktop is completely oh, gone. Right. Let's fix that. Oh, other anybody's IG sales, Amy. Not, 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 not mine, but other people, other ISN live cells. So now I need another layer. Yay! Thank Yay. you. Is it Shadia's birthday? What? Happy birthday. Let us know. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if anybody is watching this on the replay, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Of our first crafting episode. Oh, it's Marsha's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, birthday. Marsha. Marcia, Marcia. Thank you so much for watching. Yay, we get to spend your yes. birthday with you. That's amazing. Yeah, that's much better. Well, all right, I have to decide about these. So these are new old stock. I yeah. love yes. Johnson's packaging so much. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I'm going to just put them on and see. Let's put it out. Because it's more work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
It is pretty cute. Yeah. Oh, God, guys. All right. Well, I think I'm going to use them. Because it is really cute. Yes. Especially having them kind of peek out over the dress. Oof. But if I do that, then she's going to need bloomers. Freak. I mean, freak. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hope I didn't lose Facebook over here with my husband calling me. Oh, no. I think it's still going. All right, I'm going to mute for a minute because I'll have to Alexa my husband upstairs. <laughs> All right, so I am, you can see, oh, hold on. So you can see I am working on a little tiny hat to match the, sorry, Got trying it. to get right angle. Making a I little magic lose. hat to match. Alexa, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Seller. Alexa's still on. Okay, I'll turn her off, just give me a sec. All right, let's see if I can get this back. Alexa was very ornery. <laughs> All right, so I guess... Oh. See, I have another device that I'm supposed to be using oh. so that I don't get calls knocking me off, but mm -hmm. I don't have it set up. All right, so let's see. Yep, I'm back. Okay, I think Cole. Oh, there you are. You were frozen for a second. Oh, hey, Charlie. A lot of January birthdays. Yes. Yes, totally, Diana. Definitely. Oh, wait a second. So it is Shadia's birthday, too. Okay. Oh, happy birthday. That's amazing. Thank you for spending it with us. Happy birthday, Shadia. Shadia and Marsha. All right. So where's my fabric? Back to what I was doing. I need bloomers. Well, happy belated birthday, Cindy. January babies. All right. So. Where are my little clothespins? These little miniature clothespins are so handy in the crowd. Oh my like, yes. They break easily, but you oh, know yeah. what I mean. they're cheap. 
So we're gonna pin her dress up so I can go underneath. Oh, Charmed Barn, thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yes. We'll be here every Friday. Next week we'll be on Cole's channel. So his link is in the video description. have to be mindful and not work in my lap. I tend to work in my lap. And I have oh, to I the same thing. be mindful to keep it on screen. Well, this is so exciting and special because yeah. I've been wanting to do these weekly craft videos for like a year. So I'm finally doing it. Thanks to the cord. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Right. Since I did not prep the bottom, I'm just going to overlap the fabric with hot glue, but I'm going to put a base of liquid fusion to secure it. And I don't know about you guys, but do you buy stuff because you go to the craft store and then you feel all inspired and then you end up never using it oh, and then yeah. you hoard all this craft supply? That's what happened with these mason jars for me. <laughs> and now I'm finally using them. I probably bought them three years ago or something. Oh my So I'm, when Cole wanted to do this project, I'm like, yes, I have jars. I have jars I need to use. Okay, so oh, I want to do this for now. Probably should do the securing underneath first. Make sure it's not going to be too bulky for sitting properly. Oh, thank you for the uh, follow on YouTube, Ronnie. I appreciate it. Yay, thank you. Yeah. Yes, I have a, my first video, I have a room tour slash you get to see some of my collections in said room, which I think is pretty fun, colorful to get to yeah. learn about me a little bit. So that is my first video. And then I'm going to be doing weekly toy history videos as well. So be sure to keep an eye out in two days. New one and what? What is the story of those little sh short rogue videos that you have on there? 
The little what? Oh, I forgot I still had them on. Um, honestly, just a, I think it was an art project or like for a class or something. Okay. Like I guess you did a no film or something? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was like takeoff or like everything off your camera roll or something. And Morphe. I think it was like someone named Judy or something. Oh, Judy. Yeah, that one I actually that <laughs> I forgot that was still on there as well. Um Judy was a lady who owned a restaurant on like Vine or and she like would promote it on Vine and how she would start off her videos would be like, Hey Judy here. So for some reason I just like kept all of them and made a video. Oh that's out. funny. So yeah, what I did in high school. Gotcha. We all have those things that are like inside joke, funny. Yeah. Novelty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I didn't need that seam because if I fold all this in, it might be too bulky to sit. Let's see. It's so nice that it wraps up like a little package, though. Yes. <laughs> it makes me feel happy. <laughs> but I think it's going to make it not sit right. All right. Well, I guess I have to trim it then. Yeah, so you guys be sure to go and watch Cole's video where he gives you a tour of his collection because all of that will help towards his watch hours. So yes. as content creators, we need to have 4,000 watch hours in order to get monetized so that we can start earning some income through ads. So... Yeah. When we're live, those minutes don't count. But if anyone who watches the live on the replay, those do count. So I've already gotten mine, but we need mm -hmm. to get Cole his. Yeah. So once he does this, uh, the crafting video next week, if you guys um, want to put the replay on while you're folding your laundry or doing your invoicing, all of that will help him to get his 4,000 watch hours in. And it's so appreciated. So quiet. What do you oh, mean? Uh, turning on. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, you're. Oh, you're like double here. Okay, let me get rid of that one. I don't know how that. Works. That's why it was quiet. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, now my hands are all gluey. <laughs> it's nice to pay. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna cut a little circle for the bottom. And let's see how accurate I get. Hey, Roberta. Aw, thank you so much. I hope you have a fun time with your grandson. So Tyler's asking what kinds of things that we're going to be making on our show. Yes. Well, it sounds like next week is going to be Cupid dolls uh, customized. Uh, but a lot of times it's going to be like doll related. Uh, hence, you know, the name. So both of us have plenty of doll parts that, you know, need to be used. So it's yeah. kind of part of the reason. Yeah. So we can so, create a community, sit down and play with dolls pretty much. I know that we want to do a series on Blythe face-ups. Yeah. Because that will definitely take <laughs> a, a week or two. Yeah. Or more, so that's going to be a lot of fun because Cole has done it before i will be a newbie yeah. so he's gonna show me the ropes oh yeah and honestly it's not too hard once you you know do it once so and he's gonna teach me rerouting yes that's one of my favorite things when it comes to dolls you can get into such like a rhythm it's really nice just sitting down listening to a podcast or tv but if you guys have any ideas of things you would like to see us do yes. we're open to that as well definitely I know we want to do some fun challenges where we send each other like crap, like kind of um, crappy or weird doll heads that we would normally yeah. use or something. And then each of us have to like make something fabulous with it. I want to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I finished the base. So perfect. Oh, it looks little, great. Little babe will have yeah. bloomers. And now. We will look into attaching these. I think that I should probably create the little ruffle first. It'll be less awkward. All right. More work for myself. <laughs> but I have this kind of already prepared. We'll use the scrap. Yes, Amy, that's true. I just can't get past the the hair rot smell and I just mm. want to throw it away. It's terrible, but I guess I'll have to put my respirator on and get a bucket and take them out on the patio or something. Do you know what I mean, Cole? That root, that hair rot. Yeah, smell? it's it's very specific. <laughs> yeah, and it and the hair just disintegrates and it does. It's so gross. Yep. I mean, I have always glued the hair on, so technically yeah. I could have already been repurposing those root, mm -hmm. I mean, those hair rot dolls, but I just can't sometimes bring yeah. myself to it. I've done it sometimes, but you get those and you just want to bag yeah. them up and get them out of your life. <laughs> so maybe we'll do a video on that where we both have hair rot heads that we have to mask up and deal with sounds like a challenge and i can smell it as soon as i open a package <laughs> from yeah Uber, it's like as soon as you open you're like oh i knocked mm. you over 
Ugh. Tyler wants to see restoration on old rubber face dolls. Yes, definitely. I need to find a sad rubber face doll to restore. I think I might. Let me look at everything I have. I probably have one or two. Okay. I mean, honestly, I find them all the time, and that's the nice thing. Yeah. Honestly, of just being able to go out and source. Not having to pay four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. No, it's hard. I have some collector friends, like Barbie Rushton, for instance. I mean, mm -hmm. loves his dolls and won't, you know, isn't afraid to pay what they're worth, which is great, right. honestly, for right. us resellers. Um, but yeah, their value have just like skyrocketed in the last few years. The Rushton and Rubber Face, you know, fan base. Yeah. I got to them because of um, the artist Mark Ryden, who depicts them a lot in his paintings. Okay. But um, the kind of new wave of collectors uh, are really big fans of, I've noticed, Melanie Martinez, and she uses them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a lot of her videos and stuff. So it's cool to see where, you know, people come from and, you know, we're all in the same community. Yeah, we're doll in this together. Yes, I love it. <laughs> yes, Mark Ryden is so cool. I, oh my gosh, his paintings. To be that talented. I am so sorry you guys know the smell we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you do know because then oh, we're not yeah. If you know, you know. Mm -hmm, unfortunately. And um, you're a better woman than me, Evan, honestly, because <laughs> I just can't deal with them. And I've gotten to where I will look very closely and enlarge. It's usually the dark head to dolls. Mm -hmm. And I will enlarge the pictures because I'm like, these yeah. have hair rot. I'm going to be yep. so angry. Yes, Amy. Well, it is my goal this year to get my t-shirt press at some yes. point. Right now I'm paying off my last working capital loan with PayPal, but once I get it paid off and I am eligible for another one, I want to get my t-shirt press and then I can do all kinds of custom transfers that will be retail quality and I'll get nice, soft, flattering t-shirts for everyone. That's going to work fine. I don't know how smart it is to like mix the hot glue with the liquid fusion, but so far I haven't had any bad chemical reactions. I try not to put it directly on each other, but sometimes. Yeah. Well, you never know. Sometimes it just. Cause I need some things to stick right away, yeah. but then I want to make sure they're secure for the long haul. So I will like this. I put it on the rubber part, but then yeah. I'm going to put hot glue on top of this fabric part to adhere it okay. to the other fabric. Extra secure. Hoodies for all. Yes, I can do hoodies too. <laughs> Just one more thing for me to add to my list of things to do. I can't wait till the pandemic is over so that <laughs> I can hire an assistant that can come and work in my house. Yes. And take care of all of that. Like then I can train the assistant to make the t-shirts oh, yeah. with t-shirt brand. There you go. <laughs> uh -huh.
I'm so glad I made myself make the bloomers and the legs. Oh, yeah. It was worth it. Thanks for the inspiration, Cole. Of course. Three degrees. No, I can't. I can't function Ooh. in those no, temperatures. Too cold for me. I don't miss Georgia because I don't like having to scrape the frost off the window and yeah, stuff. Yeah, literally. <laughs> the ice. I don't have to do that here. Mm -mm. Far from it. All right. Well, we got one leg. Yes. Love it. Where did the other one go? Okay. Once I get the legs on, I just have like final touches. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm just working on some final touch bows. Uh, yeah. To add some pops of color. But other than that, I'm pretty much there. So if you like bows, this doll is going to be for you. <laughs> I'm so excited to do our little sale when we're done. I know, me too. Thirty-five degrees and your bones hurt. I get that. I have arthritis in my big toe. Mm. Eventually, I have to get my toe joint replaced. Oh, jeez. I know. And the doctor's like, try to hold out as long as you can because <laughs> it only lasts for. I forget how many years he said, and then you have to get a replacement. So I think it might have been uh, twenty years. Mm -hmm. So then I would have to have it done again, you know, when I'm like late sixties or something. Gotcha. So I'm like, as long as I can stand it, I'm going to hold off because <laughs> I really don't want to have to have the surgery more than once in my life. Yeah. I don't blame you. But when it gets cold, mm -hmm. that's when it really kicks that's in. That's when it kicks in. Yeah. Hey, I'm happy you like bows. <laughs> oh, Amy loves bows. She puts those big cheerleader bows on her big oh, girl. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, how long have we been on here? Two and a half hours? <laughs> Jeez. Time, Time goes just by. goes by mm -hmm. That's when you're insane. crafting. You just don't realize it. I guess I didn't have as much give on this fabric. So we'll see what kind of chemical reaction we get with the glues. All right, I'll stand back. I probably should put my goggles on in case fumes come out. Ew, it's it's sizzling. That's not good. Ooh. All right, let's see. Do not try this at home. Mixing <laughs> heat with liquid fusion. Oh gosh. Somebody will probably write it in the 
video, but you know what? All engagement is good engagement. There you go. It's engagement. It all counts. Oh my gosh, Amy girl, that is a lot. Oh gosh. Tyler, yes, you have been here for the long haul. Yes, yes. thank you, Tyler. All right, it's time to put your skirt down now, <laughs> you lady. How cute. Cutie, 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 cute. Woohoo! And then you'll get to see what's in her belly. <laughs> I love that. I'm not quite done. I'm getting there, but I want to put some stuff inside. Yes. For fun. So we can see. I'm going to pick out some stuff. And then I'm going to leave it in there for whoever gets it. Oh, I love that. It'll be random crafting supplies. Okay, so we're going to put in some vintage yeah. birthday candles. Well, they're not going to fit in the box. Oh, well. Box is too big, but that's okay. So we'll put them in. Birthday candles. And a ballerina. Oh, I love those. And gotta have some birthday candle holders. Oh, yes. How about a drawer? Love it. Which one is it? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> um, here's some more and how about some balloons amazing I guess we'll put them in this way so you guys can get out easier <laughs> She'll be like, Amy, I'm trying to get my stuff out. Okay. Here's a sitting drawer. Oh. All right. And then I'm going to do some trim. Um, Here a little teddy bear head. Oh. Gotta have some jingle bells. Make it musical. I feel like I'm making like a potion or something. Honestly, it's all potion. And gotta have rainbows. Rainbows. <laughs> Avocado. Oh. I gotta have a mustache. Mustache. Hong Kong. 
Cabbage Patch Kid Head. <laughs> <laughs> this is eclectic. Exactly. Eclectic mix of crafting supplies. Let's see what else. We have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One of my favorite witch heads. How about that? Ooh. Let me get her off of her pick. Oh, the little doll, or the heads on the picks. Yeah, I'm taking a pick off. Witch head. Amazing. Witch head. I want to see it all on her belly. Oh, yeah. And I think that's about all I can squeeze in. Amazing. I'm going to make mine a surprise, I think. Okay. And a poodle. My other crafting kits are mystery boxes. So, Ooh, yes. This one, you guys got to see what goes in. All right. So, I still need to finish with finishing touches. We're getting close to the oh, yeah. finish line here. Let's see what her belly looks like now. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. I'm so excited. I love <laughs> this video. Thank you so much. Steve. Yes. Coming up with this plan. Of course. I'm happy we get to do it. Yes. I love the idea of like having a functional doll. I think. Yes. And you guys are arms. Yes. Arms disposable. So that's really fun. Yes. You need the, um, the little doll head tissue. Holder, you need oh, one of those yeah. to them. Yes. All right. So one of my um, signature things that I do is I like to put little tiny rhinestone highlights in their eyes. So I'm going to oh, do that right nice. now. strings. <laughs> Amy wants me to adopt her and her daughter. Okay. <laughs> yes, make it with filled with Kit Kats and lemon cookies for your granddaughter. I love that. Honestly, that'd be adorable. Yes, this cutie's belly is full of mm -hmm. happiness. I lost my seek my um rhinestone tweezers. I need more. Oh no. <laughs> Cause it's just so helpful to have them. Mm -hmm. ah. okay, little baby. Now let me get those flowers and see if I want to use them. This one is more lemony and it matches that. Ooh. So let's see. And a bow. We need a bow. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And cushion dolls, yeah. I guess we could do that. Oh yeah. 
See, I never would have made something like this if it wasn't for coal. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I love an excuse to decorate, so. <laughs> I feel like I'm, oh, she looks so cute. I feel like I'm like making weird places like while I'm crafting. Oh, <laughs> I'm not thinking. Hey, Day Trip Vintage. Thank you so much. Oh. Yep. Yeah, we will have it up for the replay for sure. Oh, yeah. Got to make it a little tacky, you know, because it's mm -hmm. the vintage craft. <laughs> <laughs> Got to love it. And I just love how this flower is the exact same yellow as the trim. Yes. So perfect. I feel like I want to take the plastic part off though, to construct it. And trim this where my other scissors. have to probably glue every part of this or that's what happens when you take it apart. Uh, that's okay. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Cindy. Yeah, I love the Mary Jane shoes as well. My baby's going to just be barefoot. <laughs> Honestly, it's being a cutie. I think that's very fitting. Yes. I like that I deconstructed it because it made it into a whole different flower. Oh, I love it. Love the bow with it, too. Thank you. When I first came to California, I got in trouble for driving barefoot. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> the family that. I worked for. I mean, I came from Georgia. What can I say? Yeah. Anyway, the family I worked for, the mother's like, you can't be driving barefoot. That's illegal. And I'm like, what? If you get pulled over, you'll get a ticket. And I'm like, okay. All right, well. <laughs> rules here in California. Oh yeah. Well, I think I think she's ready. Oh my gosh. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is I wanted her to have a friend. But if I wanted her to have a friend, I would probably have to go to the adoption center down the hall because I don't think I have any friends here. So I don't know. Are you done with yours, Cole? I think I am. I think she has come to a nice point. So. Well, let's maybe um, get rid of our bottom cameras and then we can see things Perfect. better and here okay all right yay 
I love it. Oh, that's amazing. Two different takes. I love it so much. Um, oh, thank you, Tyler. I, I wonder if your other camera, camera can you do your other camera? Yeah. yeah. Just switch your views. Oh, really? Shadia says driving barefoot in Maryland is illegal, too. Oh, well, why? Okay. Why is it illegal? <laughs> People don't know how to have fun. Apparently. All right, I think. No, I don't want to end the broadcast. I almost did a bad thing there. How do I just get out of this one? Um, hmm. I don't know how to get that camera out. Okay. Yeah, that's right, Tyler. I do too. Although in my house, I wear slippers now. That's much better. Much, much better. I gotta get my glue gun out of the way so I don't burn myself. Turn this off. It's better lighting. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I can't hear you. That's odd. Maybe now. Maybe you have your thing muted oh, still. For some reason, I can't hear you. Hmm. Can you guys hear me? Sorry, everyone. Not sure. Okay. Okay. Can I do oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh. I can't, can you hear me on my phone? You can? Oh, I just can't hear you. That's, That's so, so weird. weird. Do you want me to hmm. kick you out and bring you back in? I'm gonna kick you out and bring you back. Um, I can't, you can't hear me, so. I don't know why I'm not able to kick out my own second camera. It's so weird, I wonder if I just. Turn it off, it'll go away. Yes, okay, good. That's good. All right, somebody has been texting me a lot. Oh no. Okay, um, let me get Cole back in. Sorry, can you hear everyone. Me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, great. Sorry about that. No worries. Here they are. Yes. Our little babies. Oh, so excited. Yes. Both with the blue, pink theme and yellow, oddly enough. Yes, we did mm -hmm. end up matchy matchy. All right. Well, I guess it's that time where we get to have a little mini sale. Let me get some of this hot glue debris out of my way. So we each brought five items. Yes. In addition to these dolls, right? Yes. Okay. Indeed. So the ground. we will jump into sale mode here. Yes. Um, I got my little fluff ball pin. Oh, love it. Let me grab a pen real quick. Oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you for taking screenshots. Thank you. 
Sorry about that. Got a pen and some paper. All right. And now, would I be able to, because I can't really see comments on my phone, would I be able to somehow see them? Yeah, go on your other device and pull up YouTube. Okay. Just make sure you're muted and turn okay. down, like turn the volume all the way down. Okay, gotcha. And then you can see the comments there. Okay. And if anything comes up from Facebook, I'll let you know. Thank you. I'll put it up on the screen, actually. Okay, um, so you don't need to come into StreamYard. Just go to YouTube and go to my channel on YouTube. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Hmm. Oops, there goes the glue gun. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Rachel. Hi, Tyler. All right. Let's see. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, We're almost at three hours. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And that's just for a mason doll jar. Mm. I mean, a mason jar doll. Literally. I'm so excited about her belly. Maybe I don't want to sell her. <laughs> oh, how cute. Were you able to get it? Uh, Still looking right now. For some reason, you're... YouTube isn't popping up. You can go to my Instagram link in bio and click on doll inclusive. Oh, oh I got it. My bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. No worries. Whoops. Thing on here. All right. Oh, that's amazing. Cool. Perfect. All right. So who are you want to go first or you want me to go first? Why don't ladies go first? Why don't you go first today? Okay. All right, so I guess we'll start with our dolls we just made. Perfect. So I am going to start her off. Well, first of all, let's talk about live sales in case somebody here has never done one before. So what's going to happen, we'll show you the item. We'll name the price. If you're interested, you type in the numbers of the price, not the dollar sign. And then if more than one person comes in with that interest, it becomes a live auction and you guys bid it out. And we both accept PayPal only. So we will send you a PayPal invoice and we just ask that you pay within 24 hours and we will ship within seven days. Yes. Um, we will need your email and zip code. So um, if you connect with us on Instagram or Facebook, you can message us there. Yes. Or you can email us. My email address is up on the screen. Um, and we can make sure that, well, Coles should be in the description of the video, but I'm not sure if I put it in yet. But we'll put it on the screen if you, yes. if you win. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to start this doll off at $50. So if you're okay. interested, just type in five zero and... She comes with all of the fun little craft embellishments that I fed her today. So oh. you guys get all this fun stuff to craft with. And she's dressed in this kitschy, cute yes. spin flower fabric with all the cute little critters on it. She's got the vintage flocked flower trim. Her cute little bow. She has the vintage doily collar, the vintage cupie head, her posable arms. And Lynn and Jean, I see you both in at 50. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. So 
So we're looking for 51 or more on this one of a kind little cutie oh. that you guys got to be a part of. Yes, I love her. Creating her. And Debbie from Chicago. I see you, Anna55. Thank you so much, Debbie. So if you do win her just grip her on the sides to remove her head that's the safe way to do it and then you can add your own goodies inside but you'll get what's in her belly right now hey rachel girl good to see you i see you at 51 back in at 56 cindy is back in at 58 thank you guys so much amazing and you, your support means so much to us because it allows us to be able to make these crafting videos, um, buy more supplies to make our next project so that we can keep making fun content for you guys. Exactly. Lynn, I see you at 60. Debbie, I mean, De sorry. Debbie at 60 and MJ Bear at 60. Thank you guys so much. So when we have ties, we go by the person who came in first on our screen because everybody kind of, once you key it into the internet, then it all comes out a different way sometimes for different people. So we have to go by what we see on our screen. Cindy is back in at 62, Debbie at 62, and MJ Bear at 63. Thank you so much. Rachel is back in at 65. Thank you guys so much. So I'm going to go ahead and start a countdown, you guys. So you can drop your just in case bids. That's like on eBay when they ask you how much are you willing to bid. So if we're at 65 and someone put in a just in case of 75, I thought I had this on silent. <laughs> then somebody comes in during the countdown at 67, then we bid you up to the 75. So then you would get it for 68, if that makes sense. So. Drop your just in cases. You write J I C if it's a just in case bid. If it's an actual offer, put in the full amount. And here we go yes. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end or 76 or more on our first doll inclusive creation. Love. Thank you, Melissa. So there's our bid in. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. MJ, your 76 came in after the bid in. So you guys, just so you know, when we say start dropping those now before we even count down, do it now. Do it then because otherwise you come after the bid end because of the lag. So thank you guys all so much for your bids. Thanks. It truly means so much to me. Um, so this is going to go to Debbie from Chicago for 69. Thank you so much. Congrats, Yay. Debbie. Congratulations. All right. So we have my little creation, which is a little mason jar girl. Again, you want to twist off on the cap, not pulling on the head too much, just to be cautious. But I'm going to actually er, fill her with some surprises, so Ooh. I'll be putting in some vintage craft material as well, some doll heads, see what I can find. But I gave her, oh, I forgot to say the price, sorry. We'll start her at, I guess we'll start her at 50 as well. Okay. Uh, so... This little girl starting at 50, she has bendable arms you can use. She has an adorable little, oops, sorry, little hat. I have added little bow detailing onto cute little legs and gotta love the little daisies on her. Oh, I love those. Yes. She is so Alice in Wonderland. Yes, I love that. Yeah, I love this fabric so much. 
Look at those little cuties on the fabric. Or what are those little bears or cats? Uh, little Any? dogs and cats. Oh, so cute. Look at those little the little pink doggy. MJ is in it. 50. Thank you so Thank much. Okay. Again. I'm twinning with my Daisy. Yes, you really are. We came prepared today. So we're at 50 with MJ, looking for 51 or more on this one of a kind little cutie. Yeah. Very Alice in Wonderland esque. Yes, I love her little whole... tailing. <laughs> yes. So... For Mary Jane's. Yes. A Cole Eugene original. Of course. You guys, one of a kind. Supporting an artist, supporting a doll maker. Yes. Thank you everyone so much for watching me maker. Super fun. Are those daisies, are they felt or plastic? What are they? They're plastic. Oh, I love it. So they're like little buttons. Yes, they're little buttons. Very sweet hat, the one on top of her hat as well. Oh, I love that you made her a hat yes, and all the little bows. All right, shall we start the countdown? Okay, you guys, right now, drop those best offers. Drop your just in cases. Yes. Don't wait, or you'll come in after the bid end. One of a kind, going once. All right, let's start it. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, thank you everyone so much. And there's the bid end. Hey, thank you. Thank you, MJ. Yay, congratulations, MJ. Thank you so much. All right. So make sure that you guys send your info to Cole. Um, do you want to type in your email address? Yes, I will go ahead and do that again. All right, so I have some vintage dolls, Chrissy and friend fashion tote. I'm going to start this off at $50. Oh my gosh. I love it. And then hold on a second. Okay. So just full disclosure, See the little latch here on this side? The little latch here is broken. So just FYI on that. But other than that, this case is really amazing. So let's open her up. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this case is so fun for display. Look how oh cute. God. The colors are outstanding. And then we have <laughs> I think this is Chrissy. Is this Chrissy? Yeah, that's Chrissy. Okay. So this one is Chrissy. She's in her in some original ideal yes. fashion. And somebody had the sweet oh. remember these yarn ties. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and it looks like she's the kind that her hair grows. Oh yes. Yeah. And I guess you push her belly button to get it back in, but I'm afraid to try it myself. So, <laughs> but I love her vintage yes. old dress. It's so cute. And she's in really good shape. So yes. you get Chrissy. And then on the other side, we have Chrissy's friend who might be velvet. Maybe. Yeah. You know. Oh, yep. That's velvet. Love. So you're so, getting all 
both dolls in the case. Awesome. Yeah, so you get both. Her hair was in her eyes. So put her hair out of her eyes so that you can copy. There we go. Oh, how sweet. And Love she's in this little crocheted dress. So cute. Yes. So you get both dolls and the case. Awesome. For $50. The graphics are awesome. Aren't they so retro fabulous? Yes. Oh, see, Evan, she's the expert on the Krusty dolls. Mm. That's awesome. So she's saying that the doll I said is was Chrissy is really Mia, I think. Oh. And a signature issue Chrissy dress and belt. Okay. Thank oh, you. Oh, gotcha. It is a great price. It's actually less than I paid, you guys, but I really need to find them a home because I just don't <laughs> have the room to keep everything. So $50 is a steal. If anyone is interested, and if not, that's okay. Hopefully someone will see them on the replay. Yes. And hit me up if they're interested in giving them a home. All right, Cole, you're up. All right. Me next, we are going to have this cute little in-packaged Wags Cupid doll. We're going to start him at $10. Still in the packaging. He is about, I think, about four inches, I would say. So adorable. Yeah. Still in the packaging. Gotta love the old, old font. Jean is in at 10. Awesome. Thank you, Jean. So 11 or more on the cute little cutie. Such a fun find, honestly. Whenever you find anything in packaging. Yes. All right, Rachel, we have you in at 10. Thank you. Rachel, 20. Thank you very much, Rachel. So we're at 20, looking for 21. And yes. And this is Cole's second live sale, you guys. Yes, this is my second live sale. So thank you all for tuning in. All right. Yes, old packaging is the best. Shall we start the countdown? Yes. All right. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the good end or 21 or more. Awesome. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Ooh, it just jumped. So oh. Rachel came in with a just in case of 50, and then Jean had a just in case of 25. So it goes to Rachel for 26. 26. Thank you so much, Rachel. I love that. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for your good team. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. I keep trying to copy and paste something that I guess I forget to copy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so give me one second, guys. Oh, you got a cupie. Too. Yeah, I love cupies. Any size, just like send them my way. I love them. All They're right. Whatever size they come in. Okay, so I have my little Easter bunny, and he's going to start at $50. He's got a cute little flocked pink chicky friend, oh. and he has this super happy Easter bunny, vintage bunny head, and then let's see if I can get the light turned off for a minute so we can see how sparkly he is. Oh my God. I feel like it's still not showing the colors, but 
Anyway, I'll just tell you about it. <laughs> Sometimes it looks more washed out on my screen than it comes across on the internet. So we've got all the Easter colors. We have lavender, pink, peach, yellow, white, iridescent, sparkly, Ooh, amazing. Oh looks magical. Thank you. We have some rickrack paddywhack trim little cotton tail there pink tail and the white fluff i'm gonna try to see if this helps yeah it's a little better all right well let's see where we're at here so rachel came in at 50 lynn at 50 thank you guys so much cat at 50 thank you cat is back in at 51 rachel at 60 shadia at 55 cat is back in at 62 thank you guys so much He is my favorite vintage yes, bunny face. I love, I love find the best face of anywhere. I just want to eat him up. He looks oh, like Easter good. candy. Thank you, Marsha. Rachel's back in at 70, and I'm going to count him down, you guys. So drop your best offers and or your just-in-cases. Do it now. And we are going to count down from 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end or 71 or more. And Rachel has a just in case of 200. Shadia came in strong at 100. You guys are like freaking me out. <laughs> Lynn has a just in case of 88, but it came in after the bid end. So thank you guys all so much for your bids. Thank you, Shadia. Awesome. And congratulations, Rachel. This Congrats. little bunny is yours for 101. Thank you. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> all right. Well, with that bunny, we have another bunny. This is a little handmade doll I created. I sculpted the face, gave it little button eyes, some flower detailing as long or along with a bow. And, and we didn't even plan this, you guys. No, <laughs> no. Just had him on hand. Fun bendable ears. Oh, and we're going to start her off at $40. Okay. Okay, so hold him really, really still so that hopefully he will show without the blur. So cute. Yes, I love these. Little Rushton inspired for sure. I'm having a hard time making out the eyes. Can you tell me what the eyes look like? The eyes are little uh, brown and kind of gray speckled buttons. Oh my gosh, he has button yeah. eyes. Yes. Little rosy cheeks. Again, hand sculpted with clay. Guys, this is 100% handmade. It is amazing. This is super fun. A genuine art doll. By Cole, you guys, this is amazing. And that fluffy bunny suit, how yeah. adorable. Wow. All right, so we have MJ at 41, then we have Rachel at 50, 51 at, with MJ. Thank you so much, MJ. So we need 62 or higher. Yes, little button eyes. Yes. Cute as a button. Does he have eyebrows? Yes, little eyebrows as well. I forgot. Oh, then. So Thank you. Cute. Matches the hair. They just kind of blend in. But yeah, super one of a kind. All right. I love it. Love it. Um, are you on your Wi-Fi or your cellular on? I'm on my Wi-Fi. Are you on your phone device? Mm -hmm. Maybe just switch to cellular to see if okay. it might get better, just for fun. Let's see. Sorry, everyone. I just want everybody to be able to see your yes. creations clearly. All 
All right. Is that better? Mm, no, I think it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that any better? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Go back, it's worse. Go back. Oh, no. Sorry, everyone. Did you get my other little thing I yet? I did, yeah. And it's that I got it set up and everything. So I'm so not... In yeah, Which for future, to do. in your app, you can delegate mm -hmm. uh, devices uh, to focus on. Oh, now it's super clear. Oh, it is? So, oh, well. Yeah, so next time in your app, or maybe while I'm doing my turn, you can go through your devices. Uh-oh, we just lost Cole. <laughs> I sent Cole some amplifiers for his Wi-Fi. All right, guys, so we're at 51, looking for 52 or more. And we will get Cole back in here soon. Thank you guys so much for being here and supporting us as artists. Okay, here we go. So, what? And I can't hear you, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll get rid of you and put you back in. I hate how it says kick this guest out. I don't want to kick you out. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. Sorry, everyone. My phone That's okay. died. So um, yeah, so maybe when it's my turn, go into the Google. You have you downloaded the app, right? The Google yes, Home or whatever. Yes. And it it shows you all the devices that are connected to the Wi-Fi, and then you can okay select one to focus on for the next two hours or whatever. Oh, okay. That's amazing. So try that when it comes back to okay. my turn and see if okay. it helps. Um, okay. So let's count it down. You guys drop oh. those best offers and or yes. your just in cases. All, All right. right. So let's count down 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And Tyler's geeking out over your Mobley giraffe. Well, thank you. Yeah, featured in a Instagram <sighs> post today. I just saw that post. Uh, oh yeah, on TikTok a long time ago or whatever, and it was amazing. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so this is how it works, you guys. Ivana, well, we have to go by what Cole sees, but on my screen, Ivana's 55 came in before MJ's JIC 55. Um, yes, that is so the same. It's a tie, so we can do another countdown and you guys drop your best offer, not a just in case, but drop your best offer. So let's do a countdown of 20 to give each of you a chance, but we're going to do... Uh, um. We're going to wait till we see each of you with your best offer. So no just in cases, best offers, count it down from 20. All right. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. All right. So Ivana has an offer of 60. And let's see Ivana. where MJ comes in. <laughs> or you can say you're out either way, you know. Yes. Okay, there's the bid in. So um, MJ, let us know if you're out or if you're going to, or if you're dropping a best offer. Just want to make sure that you both have an opportunity. Thank you guys so much for the interest. I love this little one. Yes. I want to snuggle it. It's so funny. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. 
I have a few I'm more I'm working on like this actually. So stay oh, tuned. Good. Yay. Well, I'm not seeing MJ coming back oh, in. Right. So I I would just have to go ahead and say Ivana. Thank you so much. Congrats. This little one is yours. Yay. Thank you. Yay, Carl. Okay. So up next, I have something a little different. This is one of my mixed media panels. And I'm going to be starting it off at $40. Oh, so I made this with a vintage magazine clipping of The Loving Spoonful. It was on the cover of a teen magazine. Oh, I'm so sorry, MJ. Oh, um, yeah. well, thank we you. Gave, I'll, I'll make some more. So stay tuned. We gave it a while. So I just, no. I'm sorry, sorry about, about that. that. So I layered um, different stencils with different acrylic paints and created all this amazing texture. And I actually made this one on my Facebook last year. Oh, that's amazing. So it's on a video that I made. And I think it is 11. Let me just double check it. 11 by 14. It's a wood panel, so you can, it's ready to hang. Let's just hang it on the wall. And it's really groovy. Oh, so if you love the sixties, <laughs> if you love the sixties, you will love this. And it's got shine. You know, there's metallics and iridescence. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you. These are so much fun to make. And it all was kind of inspired by the flower in his mouth because yeah. it was. Um, a black and white cover, but the flower was painted originally on the cover in oh. the lettering. So I just took that oh, that's flower amazing. print and repeated it throughout. For oh, thank you for subscribing. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you. there will be many more dolls to come. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is only the beginning. So if there is no interest, that is okay. I am just trying to find it the right home. Um, looking for 40. I still have this bid up here and I shouldn't do that. So $40, last call, and we will put it aside and go back to you, Cole. All right. All right. So next off, we have a 60s troll bank by the brand Dame. Uh, we're gonna start him off at $25. Measures about, I think, nine and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half inches tall. Good point, Tyler. You guys can check out Cole's Etsy shop because he does have some of yes. his one-of-a-kind dolls listed right yes, now. Yes, I do. And Thank you so much. I'll put the link here in the video description, but it's Kitschy Flower. Yes, it is. Yeah, on Etsy. Kitschy Flower. And we are starting off at 25. Outfit is in awesome condition. You can see original slit for the coins. At 25. I'm going to see if I can put the link in here. I don't know if it lets you put links. Oh, that's awesome. On YouTube. You guys let me know if you're able to click on that link. All right. 25 for this little one. Oh, so cute. And you said it's vintage 60s? Yep, from the 60s. And it's a bank? Yep, it's a bank. I always think it's funny. You always had to like tear their heads off to get their money, but oh no, I know <laughs> they're always hard to get back on too. So I don't know the whole <laughs> the whole story behind that, but well, so that you know, kids save their money. They oh, don't want yeah. to take the head off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
At least you don't have to break it. I mean, you know, yeah. like those old stuff. Exactly. Ones. Yes. So twenty-five dollars, right. you guys. And if nobody's interested, that is okay. Just means gets to live with me a little bit longer. All right. All right. Thank you. What markings does she have on her feet or the back of her head? Uh, the. Oh, I cannot read. Uh, on the back of her, or on her back, it says Thomas Dam. Um, you can see in kind of a circular logo, well, kind of. Um, and then I don't see, it says something on the back of the head, but I can't make it out. Well, it's blurry to us, so we can't. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. Okay, guys. So up next, I have two kits. And, oops. I copied and pasted that, so I lost my little starting bid thing. Hold on. Starting bid. All right, so I put together some mystery boxes that are cone doll kits. So yes. um, you will be able to make, I'm looking to see if I have the size. This one is not for sale. He's my own personal guy that I want to sell. But it'll be this size cone doll. And you get three, you get enough materials to make three cone dolls, three small cone dolls. You can watch my cone doll tutorial. And you'll have all the materials that you need to make the dolls. You'll just need a hot glue gun. So um, you can yeah. use the materials I include. You can add in your own. You can take some of my materials and make something else. But you'll get three curated heads and some fun materials to cover the cone and all the supplies you need. So it'll be so much fun. So Rachel and Jean, I see you guys both in at 50. Thank you so much. And I am excited to see what you guys make. Yes. And Lynn is also in at 50. Thank you, guys. Rachel's back in at 60. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and count these down. Like I said, there are two available. So... The top two bids will get these. Um, so let's count it down from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end or 63 or more. And you guys make sure that you get in touch with us so that we have your information to invoice you. Um, you can email us or contact us on uh, Instagram. So Rachel, you're just in case of 200 came in after the bid end. So it looks like our high bid is, oops, our high bid is 66. And then Jean had the just in case of 75. So it is going to be 67 to Jean and Lynn. So Lynn, let me know if you would like it for 67 as well. And Jean and Lynn are our two high bidders. And thank you so much, you guys. And back to you, Cole. Yes. All right. So we have a vintage Irwin. Let me see if I can take some glare off of this. Is that a little bit better? Hopefully. Anyways, so we have a little squeak baby doll. We're gonna start him off at, let's say $15. So from the Irwin Company from the 50s. Let's see if I can try to turn the glare down a little bit. Hopefully you can see the face. Oh, that's better. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yes. Perfect. That's so sweet. Has a few scuffs on the feet, but actually that might be easy to come off. Um, but such a cute face. And we're going to start him off at 15. Still squeaks. 
and is right at about nine and a half inches. Yeah. Okay, so you said um, 15? Yes, 15. So super cute, Erwin. All right, yes. Oh my gosh, hey, Michael. Hi, Michael. Okay, don't talk, just listen. <laughs> All right, 15. Going once. It's a cute little Erwin. Sleeping baby. Going twice. So adorable. All I think right. you need to make a little fluffy bunny hood for that. Honestly, I love that idea. Because sometimes when you reimagine things, yep. they become more desirable. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. All right. Well. Oh, wait. No, MK. My All game. right, MK. Thank you so much. All right, well, let's shall do I count down just to make sure? Count down. All right, let's do 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And sometimes when I threaten to reimagine things, people are like, oh, no, 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 don't you touch no. that, and they rescue it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, I love the we idea, have, though. Yeah, we have our purists, and All right. that's okay. Oh, we yeah. That. All yeah. right. Thank you so much, McKay. You got it for 15. Yay. All right. So let me grab one more item to make my five. You guys are going to get a Halloween doll because... Why not? I did not have time. All my sales was not to craft any further. Um, mm, this is a tough one. I guess we'll go with this one. Okay. So he is going to start off at $15. I mean, sorry, $50. <laughs> <laughs> and... Let me turn this light off. He has a vintage Aww. head from Japan, and I just love these heads. Yes. They are so cute. And look at the little Japan eyebrows. Mm -hmm. He's got freckles. He has a light reflector collar. He's dressed in this kitschy vintage Halloween style spoon flower fabric. Yes. He's got a cute little pumpkin in his hand like a kind of a blow mold material and he is trimmed in gold garland so oh. mk um oh. you will email cole go ahead and put your um email in the comments again all right i and will make sure that it's in the description of the video as well you guys can go back and find it there but he'll type it in for you right now yes so he'll need your zip code and then you'll be emailing him. So he'll have your email and he'll send you a PayPal invoice. Yes. So be on the lookout for that. Check your spam folder, but he'll send you a cute little um, meme to let you know when it has been sent. Rachel, I see you in at 50. Thank you so much. It's a cute little cutie. Love his blue eyes. All right, we're going to count him down. So if anyone else is interested, you can jump in at 51 or more. Uh, drop those best offers in just in cases now. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Looking for a bid end. Rachel, I see you just in case of 125. Thank you so much. And there's our bid end. Thank you, Cat Worm, for bid ending for us. So congratulations. I still Thank have you. your box open from last night, so I will drop him in there for you, Rachel. 
And thank you all so much. Cole, do you have, do you have any? Yes, one that? more. All right. So we have a cute little left in frog. We're going to start her off at $5. Oh with the gosh. original sticker. Sorry. How about much that. did you say? Wait a minute. How much? $5. Oh, $5? Yeah. All right. So, sweet frog brushing her non-existent hair, but you know. Oh, Susan, I'm so sorry. It's just a short little mini sale, so we're almost yes. done. Hopefully you can come tomorrow night on Saturday. Thank you, MJ Bear. I see $5. So now we are looking for six or more on this cute little left-in frog gal. And I believe she does have a little chip actually right here. You can barely kind of notice it kind of blends in with the um the little oh, barrel she lives on. But wood grain. Yes, but other than that, she's in really good condition. She is adorable. Yes, I love her. Scrub, scrub, scrubbing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and exfoliating that yes. like skin. So six or more we're looking for. My cute little left in frog. All right, shall we count down? Yes. All right, so let's do 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one on the sweet little left and frog so cute yes all, all right. right thank you mj you got it for five yay well thank you guys all so much for tuning in and yeah. crafting today it was so much fun thank you everyone so much we look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Um, I will put the, well, actually it'll be on Cole's channel. So I'll yes. have him put the materials list in the video description and go ahead and schedule that. So you guys can check it out and yeah. bring your materials or work on your own projects. Um, and then we'll That's get cool. our, yes, I'll, we'll get our doll inclusive Instagram up so you can yes, send your so photos in of your projects. Hey, Bridget. Hi. A little late, a little, yeah, you are a little Kate <laughs> to, to our party, <laughs> a little late. That's okay, uh, you can watch the replay. Oh, okay, we'll have him put it in again. I actually, I don't, for some reason my um, thing's not like typing for some reason. Okay, let me put it in. Sorry about right. that. No worries. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Shadia. Have a fun rest of your birthday. Yes. Have a fun yes. birthday Happy weekend. Birthday. Thank you so much for uh, bearing with us for our first episode. We've had some technical yeah. difficulties, but, you know, uphill from here. Yeah, we'll get it all dialed in. For sure. Make sure I have this right. Okay. Make sure that I I typed it incorrectly when you see it. Yep, it's just Cole Eugene at Gmail. Perfect. Okay. And that is how you get in touch with me. And mine is on the screen here. If you don't already have it, AMI at rockinnpopshop.com. Um, thank you, Michael. So let's show our little creations yes, one more time. That we just sure. did. These are our mason jar dollies. I fed mine a bunch of craft yes. supplies. <laughs> Mine's going to come with a surprise, so stay tuned. MJ. Yay. All right. So, you guys, be hey. sure to subscribe to Cole's channel. Yes, the link too. is here in the video description so that you don't miss us next week. Yes. I will have the link in my bio on Instagram so you guys can go there to find it as well. For sure. Um, and that is a wrap. So thank you everyone so, thank you so much. much. It means so much. It does. It truly does. Thank you for your support. And we look forward to crafting with you again next week. Yes. Until thank next you guys. week.
and Cole, don't go anywhere so we oh, can okay. be back soon. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone.